Hey, welcome to my channel. My name's Marion, and today I'm going to show you how to make this layered mini skirt. I got inspiration for the skirt from Pinterest. It was being sold on websites like Showpro and Princess Polly with a few different variations in style. I made this about two weeks ago and I've been wearing it everywhere. I absolutely love how this turned out. So let's jump in and I'll show you how to make one for yourselves. So for this project, I'm using muslin fabric. I found this in the baby section of the fabric store. It's a great place to look if you're looking for muslin, terry cloth or super soft linen. You're going to need to cut out six rectangles, three for the front and three for the back. The first one is the waistband. I cut mine to be 10 centimeters, but I realized later on that this was way too much fabric and I cut it down to about six centimeters or 2.5 inches. For the length, measure out your waist. So for me, I measured my waist to be about 22 inches. Then I halved this measurement, so I got 11, and then I times this by 1.5, so I got 17. So I cut the rectangle to be 17 inches long. The next rectangle is tier one of the skirt. This piece should have a width of 15 centimeters or 5.5 inches. The length of this piece is the length of your waistband and times 1.5. So for me, it will be about 17 times 1.5, which is about 25 inches. And the last rectangle is tier two of the skirt. And this piece is again, 15 centimeters in width. The length of this piece is the length of tier one's piece times 1.5. So for me, 25 times 1.5, which is 37.5. For each of these rectangles, you need to cut out another piece so that we have the front and back. So all together, you'll have six pieces. Now, looking at the edge of the fabric, you can see that it's starting to fray. I do want this to have the look of an unfinished hem, but I don't want it to actually fray like this. So to stop this, I'm going to go around the top and the bottom edges, all six pieces with a zigzag stitch. After you've done this, go ahead and trim any rogue threads. Next step is to start creating the gather. So grab your tier one piece and sew with a wide straight stitch one centimeter down from the top. Make sure you make the stitch length longer. I set mine to four. Don't back stitch the start or the end of this. You want the thread to be loose so that you can shape it later. Sew down the entire length of the fabric. You'll need to repeat this step for both tier one pieces and both tier two pieces. Don't do this to the two waistband pieces. So now you should have something that looks like this. You'll have two waistband pieces that are untouched and your two tier one and tier two pieces that are gathered along the top. Taking your waistband and your tier one piece, you want to make sure that they are the same length. If the gathered piece is shorter, just space out the gathers along the thread. If it's too long, just make the gathers closer together. Place the ruffled tier piece on top of the waistband, overlapping them just by one centimeter and pin this in place. So take this to the sewing machine and sew this down one centimeter from the top of the ruffle so you're catching both pieces of the fabric. Once you've done that, it'll look something like this. Now repeat this step and add the tier two piece to the bottom of the tier one piece. Space out the ruffles so that it's the same length as the bottom of the tier one piece. Take this to the machine and sew it down as well. Now you'll have a finished front piece. Repeat these steps to create the back piece of the skirt. At this point, I realized that the material I picked is kind of sheer, so I'm going to need a lining. You can skip this step if your fabric is more opaque. Using some scrap white fabric, I fashioned together the lining, making sure that the top of the lining skirt is the same width as the waistband. Lay out the back and front pieces right sides together, so make sure that the ruffled hem is facing each other and sew down the side seams. Now that the sides are all done, with the skirt still inside out, you want to take the skirt and place it inside the lining skirt. Match up the side seams and the top of the lining with the top of the tier one of the skirt so that when you lay it out flat, the waistband pieces will be sticking at the top. Sew this down in place. This is the point that I finally realized that my waistband was way too wide, so I'm just shortening it here. With the skirt inside out, create a tunnel for the elastic band to sit in, fold one centimeter down from the top and then fold this down again. Make sure there's enough room for the elastic band to fit in. Remove the elastic band and then sew this down in place, leaving a gap for you to insert the elastic band later on. I used a safety pin to help guide the elastic through the channel. Once you've pulled the elastic all the way through, you'll need to sew this into a loop. I used a zigzag stitch to do this. And then all that's left to do is to sew up this gap and then you're all done. And that's the end of the tutorial. I really liked how the skirt turned out. I think it would be perfect for summer with like a crop top. Or you could also wear it with like a graphic tee or a band tee and some sneakers. 
I'm definitely gonna make another one of these skirts in some printed fabric, so check out my Instagram if you wanna see more things that I make. Let me know down below if you decide to try and make this skirt for yourself. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video, bye!